Hello everybody, it's Chris Sarda at Chaos and Comics on Instagram and Twitter, and today I'll be talking about Eternals number one. This is by Kieran Gillen, Isad Ribic, and Matthew Wilson on colors, and probably lettered by Clayton Cowles. Yep, bada bing. So this is uh, the first issue in a a brand new series that's pr that's probably being revived because of the movie that's coming out. Um, I, who knows when it's coming out now, right? But I think it was supposed to come out this year, so it's probably next year now. Um, uh, and uh, and and likely the movie's not going to have anything to do with this story. It'll probably be it'll probably be based on the original. Uh, Kirby stuff, or maybe Neil Gaiman, who knows. Um, Eternals is not something I know about. Um, when I heard that they were doing the movie, I figured it would become popular. But, you know, we we have a lot of races of, uh, of uh, great beings in the Marvel Universe, in the Inhumans, etc. So the Eternals, um, I think, are something a lot of people don't know about. Uh, and also something a lot of people are going to pretend to know about going forward. And maybe they will, because they'll read Neil Gaiman's work, they'll read Jack Kirby's old work, and and they'll know. Um, I'm not as interested in them. In fact, I probably would have skipped this uh, if Kieran Gillen wasn't writing it. As you guys know, I'm a big uh, reader of Kieran Gillen. So uh, that's what we're set up. So if you're looking to see, like, oh, this is going to be um, something about the, you know, the, the movie's going to have something to do with this, I would say, like, maybe Phase 13 or something like that. Um, first up is the art. Now, uh, Asad Ribic has a very, this book has a very almost solemn, pious look to it. And uh, Asad Ribic has that style. Uh, it's a kind of, it's something I, I actually really enjoy. And uh, it gives a real different feel to this book. And I'm trying to remember uh, in Ribic's run, in Asad Ribic's run, if... Um, I'm pronouncing that C like my wife would with a ch sound because it has the accent on it. I'm not sure exactly where he's from, so I may be pronouncing that wrong. But um, uh, I can't remember if Matthew Wilson did the colors on his Conan work. And it seems like Matt, Matthew Wilson has a feel for the way that um, Asad Rubic should, uh, should look because it's very warm, um, dry colors. So that's where I get like the solemn and pious feel to it. So I enjoyed uh, that piece. I, I think I have seen um, Asad Rubic do a little bit more detail uh, in in prior work. So hopefully, you know, hopefully once he gets a feel for the characters and stuff like that, we'll get a, we'll get a little bit more of that because they're certainly not characters that he grew up drawing or practice a lot. You know, the Eternals are only so popular. Um, as far as uh, reading this, like I said, it's not not something I probably would have picked up if it wasn't for Kieran Gillen. Um, if I have to say, like I'm a huge Kieran Gillen fan, he's probably one of my favorite writers. And if I if there is something I can say, you know, negative about him, and I don't think it's a negative, but maybe the marketing department does, is that he 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 doesn't always write the the kind of issue, the first issue that'll that would grab you necessarily, and um, you know, and this one does a well enough job. It's nothing. There's nothing wrong with it necessarily, but. Uh, but I, I can't think of really a first issue that made me go, oh, this is amazing. What what when I read Kieran Gillen, because I've already, you know, invested in him, you know, time and money and et cetera, they they I know that I'm gonna get payoff. I know I'm gonna get these great characters built. I know I'm gonna get some weird action and stuff like that. But uh but generally his number ones really feel like a chapter number one. You know, so um I, that might be an issue with people like catching on to him, but he's then, of course, he's also a very successful writer, so it's probably not. People probably know. So I will say that. It's not like this, um, you know, incredible book with an incredible twist. It uh, introduces stuff. It, it has its, his Kieran Gillen's dry humor, at least the kind of humor I like, very British humor in it, even though it's set in the United States and it feels United States-ish and whatnot. Um... And uh, then it introduces, I, I don't know if this is a spoiler. I mean, unfortunately, if you read previews or not, so I am gonna spoil the end of the book here, but I don't think it's that big a deal. Um, I don't know if Kieran Gillen decided this or if it was agreed upon, but they clearly, since the Eternals are not that popular, they clearly need a, a villain to be an anchor. And, um, 
And so that villain's going to be Thanos, it looks like. And uh, that's the cover of issue number two. So that's been everywhere. So I apologize if that's a spoiler. It shouldn't be too big of a spoiler. Um, almost expected to some extent. So I'm excited to see uh, Gillen write Thanos um, explicitly. You know, we got the Lemire and the Donny Cates runs for Thanos one after another. You know, and that was him as a protagonist more. So that was real interesting. Um, I'd love to see Kieran Gillen write that also with the Thanos as a protagonist uh, or semi-protagonist, right? Um, but getting him at all writing Thanos would be big. So I hope that um, this is not just a one-off. I hope Thanos is a big part of this of this book. Um, in general, this, uh, this does a really good job um, mixing action and introducing some of the ideas of the Eternals, Deviants, Eternals, etc. And uh, the world... Or the mind, or geez, I forget what it's called now. The uh, the machine is uh, is the narrator, and um, I think that works. I think a lot of times having these box narration bubbles, and there are a lot of them in here, um, you know, hinders can hinder a book. Um, but in this case, it doesn't because it sort of introduces and gives you a feel and idea for what the what the machine is supposed to be. And, uh, and the lettering sets it apart too. So I don't know if that was Clinton Cowles, but whatever the, whoever's decision that was to uh, really set the, the um, machine apart uh, by lettering like that really worked. So I really liked it. Uh, this is something I'm gonna stick with. This is not something I'll, I'll get in trade. I tend to, it's probably better, worse for indie comics that I wait for trades and better for Marvel than I spend the, you know four or five bucks a, an issue on this, but I don't like to read these in trades, really. Um, a lot of other stuff I'm waiting and just letting it hit Marvel Unlimited uh, or, or DC Infinite or whatever whenever I decide to get that. But not this one. I think I'm gonna stick with it and um, and, and see what Kieran Gillen's doing. He's uh, a heavily plotted, probably as much or more than uh, Jonathan Hickman. So it is, uh, it's something that um, even as a Gillen fan, I want to see where he goes with it to see, you know, if I start seeing tropes, you know, I get a lot of, with often with writers I like, I start catching their tropes and, um, you know, a Hickman one is obvious is the white pages and people either love that or hate it. I love it personally, but I'm talking more like character and, um, development tropes and whatnot. In fact, there was one here as soon as there's a, there's a part in here where, the who's acting as the main character and at least in this book threatens to break someone's nose and i knew in a few panels or the next page he was going to actually do it i can already i can already catch uh some of the kieran gillen's writing trips but that's a small one but i want to see what he does different in something like this um something else special about this before i end is that i actually have not really read kieran gillen's superhero work um you know i'm a big fan of wiktiv uh die was my second favorite book of the year um uh, what else have I read? Uh, I've read a good amount of Uber, etc., etc. But I didn't read any of that, any of his X-Men stuff. I haven't read any of his Thor Loki stuff or anything like that. So this is really my first like superhero foray. Uh, I did read Star Wars. I love his Star Wars run, but you know, not in the 616. So anyway, uh, I think this was enjoyable. I think he's going to build a big world. One of the best world builders out there is Kieran Gillen. So I think he's going to build a big, interesting world. And I'm excited to see how it mixes in with the 616 now. Thank you guys for watching. Chris Sarda at Keslin Comics on Instagram and Twitter. See ya.